Welcome to this video on the Wheelight Ninja 400 Mark II. This is a budget bicolor video light, which is also to be used for photography as well. Now, first off, this light comes with a carry case. This is really well made with a nice zip at the top, which you can easily open. And inside you can see a really nice secure padded interior. This keeps everything nice and secure and stops it getting broken. This light is very well made. Now it may be made of plastic and it's lightweight, but it's very solid and durable and it feels like they've done a really good job in the manufacturing of the light. It has a Bowens mount, which means that you can use it with any light modifiers which have this setup, making it very useful because this is a very common mount in the light modifiers market. This light comes with a separate control unit. This is nice and big and has a lovely large LED display which you can easily see when making changes throughout the options. You can control the colour temperature by clicking once. This goes from 2500 to 6500 and you have this nice display showing you the changes. You also have a CRI of 95 which is great for the price offering you a really nice high colour accuracy. You've got another little cool feature on this actually, which is a flicker free option on all shutter speeds, which is a great little option and something that I think is a nice little touch from Wheatley. The light can easily be moved up and down. Now you can actually loosen this or tighten it by using the knob on the side to make it just perfect for your requirements. The light comes with a remote. Now this remote works well, but I much prefer the app which is actually designed especially for this light. You can make all of the changes to all of the options that this light offers, which is brilliant. And it works so seamlessly well. I highly recommend you use this instead of the remote. You can control the light power, you can try the, control the temperature, and you can control all the different lighting options, giving you access to everything. Another thing I really like about this light is the incredibly quiet fan. It's so quiet you can, well, you can almost not hear it. In fact, it's the quietest fan I've noticed on one of these style lights to date. So well done we light for getting that so silent. Now, what don't I like about this light? Because there's always things which, you know, a little niggly things that people might be concerned about. So let's bring those to your attention. First off, the leads. The leads are great. They're nice and long and secure. But they do sometimes get in the way and that can be a little bit annoying. But that's just if I'm splitting hairs. The one thing which I find a little bit annoying though is the fact that the battery which you can fit to this and actually run it off a of battery power instead of the actual mains, it's a nice feature you can do that, but you only get 55% max power. It's a V mount battery that you'd use, but if you're looking to get the full and complete power output, you might be a little bit disappointed to know that you can only get half of that with the battery. This is a solid, great, light it's great for studio it's great for outdoors it's very powerful it offers a really good cri and really what else is there to say if you're in the market for a great price light on a low budget at around about 350 dollars then i would highly recommend that you check this out I want to thank you for watching the video today, guys. There'll be a link to this light if you're interested in the description. Guys, whatever you do for the rest of the day, make sure it's a good one, and I'll see you in the next video.